Well. I'm about to start packing. Just realized I had sound water in my ears. And I've been keeping up with the laundry really, really well, except the fact that I, I have not folded any of it. No. So I thought this is a wonderful time to do a video and answer questions. This is a Q&A today, I've just decided. Q&A with Adrian. Hello, Angie. Hey, Debbie. My subscribers haven't even gotten a video today. It's been very busy. Our cousins from England are here. So we have been having a really good time with them. And yes, I'm feeling better. Uh, we had Amos had a babysitter, so that was super helpful. He got out for a few hours, which was nice. And we had lunch with the cousins, and we went swimming in the sound, and it rained a teensy bit, which is all right. Um, anyway, let's for these. What dress is Adrienne wearing for the wedding? Well, that is a wonderful question. So I have not packed for the wedding, nor do I have any idea what I'm wearing. But my daughter, of course, who's 14, has had her nails done. She has her dresses right. She is done. Hi, Minerva. I mean, it's a very important wedding. I'm very excited about it. Yes, tomorrow night we're gonna be at the Duquesne Club. I don't know what the Duquesne Club is, but I'm pretty sure it does not involve coonskin hats. And then we're staying at the Evergreen, Edgewood, Ever River, some kind of club. Never seen so many clubs. I don't even belong to a club. I don't know what that is. Now, whose shirt is that? That's a Russell shirt. <laughs> Figured you were with family. Yes, we have been together all day and had a delightful time. Raining in Greensboro. Subscribed yesterday. Welcome, Sandy. It's exciting. Okay. Weather should be... You know what? It is not hot today. It's downright, like, nice. Whose wedding? Well, not mine. Um, my husband's first cousin's daughter. So my husband is super tight with his, um, his mom has one, Knights Baseball. Not a soul in this house plays baseball. Where could this shirt have even come from? Knights Baseball. I mean, I, I literally have no idea. I'm gonna put that in dad's pile. Um, so my mother-in-law has one older sister and this is her granddaughter and, um, I've never been up to Pittsburgh, but my husband went a ton growing up. And so I'm sort of excited to, oh shoot, here's another pile. I'm excited to go, um, up there myself. And I've met a few of his cousins or I've met his, his cousins and their children. I think for the most part, I've met all of them, but we've never really spent any time together. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, sissy, what? that, the dress that you're wearing, keep the dresses on hangers. Bring the, um, bring the dress you're wearing for the wedding in here and find me, tell me what shoes you're going to wear. Kind of busy. busy doing what? Packing. She's busy. Packing. How's Amos doing tonight? Amos is doing... Well, he is um, downstairs watching some TV, which is good because he's had a busy day. And my husband is playing tennis with his cousin, Michael, from England. And my son, Russell, and then their other cousin. And then they're going to eat dinner at our other cousin's house tonight. Just it's like Cousin City. Who does your ironing, Adrian? Uh, I don't, there's no ironing. You don't need ironing. You just shake and you're fine. Swickley is the prettiest, sweetest little town. What brand are those pajamas? These jammies that my friend sent me? Let me see here. I don't know what that says. Something studio. Here, look. You can look yourself. 
Do, 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 do. No, the subscribers, when this video is over, we have work to do. We're going to get in my closet and we are going to pick out what I'm going to wear for the weekend. How's the new medicine for Amos? Um, you know, I think the new medicine is going okay. Yes, he is going to be with Mary this weekend, and we're going to have a little bit of extra help. Mary's got some family medical stuff going on, so we um, need to bring in the troops, which is good that we have some. Glad Amos has had a good day. Me too. Chinese writing. Me no read Chinese. Me reads pig Latin, and that's about all. Why are you on here? Linda, don't your kids keep you busy? Linda, Linda, I love you, Linda. How do you pay to be a subscriber, Barbara? I bet Linda doesn't want to be one. So Linda, I'm doing this thing called folding the laundry. It's an amazing, wonderful thing. You have to do it when you're a mother. And I can fold laundry and talk and work at the same time. Yes, I can, Linda. Linda is feeling a little bit jealous. Linda is thinking, this dummy is getting subscribers. They're just coming out of the woodwork to subscribe to her. I bet she's got 10 new ones today. They're all going to pay her $5 a month. And she's going to sit there and do nothing and make money. And I'll be damned. I don't like it. And I'm not going to have it. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to pitch a holy, hellish, fall off the turnip truck, kick the donkey in the arse fit. Damn it. Why is Linda here? Linda. Whose shirt is this? This is my husband's shirt. I'm dying. Good, Amy. Don't die, though. When is our flight? Oh, you know, it's tomorrow morning at 8.25. From Raleigh. Not that, Linda. Does subscriber get notifications when you're live? Yes, they do. As long as they set up the notifications. And I also try to tell you when I have videos coming on. Like I've just said right now, we're going to have a video at 6 p.m. to pick out my clothes for the wedding. And then we'll have my children on. My son Thomas is coming back to town. It's very exciting. Oh my gosh, this laundry, it just never stops. Hmm. No, it does not. Do y'all have the bacteria in the water there? Yeah, I hope not. Now you tell me that. I'm going to end up with like some evil... This is my favorite shirt. Evil ear infection. Do you take meds for ADD? No, I don't take meds for ADD. Nene, I don't even have ADD. I'm good at multitasking. That does not mean you have ADD. These are not real questions. I thought this was a Q&A. There's going to be another video. Why give the haters credit instead of us giving you love? Why give haters credit? Well, I'm not really giving them credit. I just have such a hard time with these dumb questions and they always come back. I need to subscribe some of these people in their comments. It's like a wackadoodle reunion. <laughs> so true. Subscriber thing, you're 76. Well, I do daily videos and it's kind of a conversation. We just hang out. Yeah, I did a video last night. That wasn't a subscriber video. That was a big video, wasn't it? these teenagers of mine. They bad, 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 bad. Yeah, my daughter ate all the pizza that I got for my nine-year-old with autism, and I used some bad language. You asked a question and you didn't answer. Well, ask it again. I didn't see it. And my son yelled at me. My children are, they're not easy right now. They're a teensy bit difficult. How long will you be in Pennsylvania? Uh, till Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yep. 
Sunday morning. And then we are heading down to Atlantic Beach. Yes, we are, because we can. Did you make her get him a new pizza today? No, because I don't follow through with anything. I totally forgot that until you just said it. So of course I didn't make her get him a new pizza. What books do you like to read to relax? Kama Sutra? No. <laughs> Isn't that like that Egyptian sex book? Um, what, what do I read to relax? You know, I, I like to read old classics like Olivia Ann Burns, Cold Sassy Tree. You fold laundry sloppier than my husband. Me, me, me. Um, I like to read Laura Ingalls Wilder. I like to read anything old. Cynthia Voigt. I like to read old books I liked as a child. Oh, socks. Are you packing for both trips at the same time? I'm packing for both trips at the same time. But right now, I'm doing this thing called laundry folding. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put everybody's laundry in their room. And then I'm going to, what am I going to do? Whose shorts are these? My husband's. And then I'm going to pack for the wedding and pack for the beach. And that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I stole this towel from the pool. Shh, shh. I take it back, but I'm not keeping it. Do you like historical fiction? Is that like Daniel Steele? If so, yes. Yay, Elizabeth just subscribed. Little Women. You know, I never could get into Little Women. I always felt pressure. I feel like it's a book I should like. But books like Moby Dick, Little Women. You had your car stolen in Philadelphia? Well, I'm going to Pittsburgh. What does that have to do with Philadelphia? It's Indian. Jan Karen. The Mitford series. I don't think I've read them, but I'm very, I've heard of them. You're very calming. Ah, oh, my voice sounds very calm. I fold the laundry carefully like this. Glad you're feeling better. Sad to come home from the beach. I love the educational little treat. I've never read that, but I have it. So I have a few very favorite books. The Secret Garden. Ding, ding, ding. That's one of them. Come on. Let's see how the laundry is going. Um, when does little Thomas get home? So he is coming, meeting us in Pittsburgh tomorrow night. Elizabeth Berg, do you think you should take a test before you go? Um, no, because I took a test yesterday and it was negative. So my question or my thought would be that if it were negative yesterday, it would be negative today. I like to listen to Audible too. I'm sure I pay for it every month. I have no idea. But I really like Audible because it takes longer to read the book. I mean, I could drive from here to Schenectady and, and listen to books. And my children are so evil when it comes to listening to books. I've been listening to the Janet Oak series for a while. And, they're, and she does talk like this. Ma, Ma, come help. Paul sliced his foot with the axe. Oh, no, Marty. I'll help you. They're like, turn it down. <laughs> Do you like reality TV? Mm, I am reality TV, no. <laughs> reality TV. I don't know. I used to watch The Real World when it came out. Who's for these? I can't tell who's or who's. Small. Are these Blair's? No, these have something for a penis in them. That's what I was thinking. I don't know who these are. I'm going to put these in the we don't know pile. Anything by Jodi Picoult. I don't love Jodi Picoult. I, I want to like Jodi Picoult, but I read this Jodi Picoult book, and it was all about, like, the sister didn't want to give her, her sister her bone marrow. And in the end, it's like the end of the book, they're deciding who's going to get the bone marrow and who's going to do whatever. And then, poof, 
she gets killed in a car accident. So sorry if you're reading that book and I've just ruined it for you. But it was the worst ending of my life. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Medium. Lulu. Lemon. The idea that I own things from Lululemon is honestly terribly embarrassing for me, I would just like to say. How is little Thomas doing in the UK? Um, I think he's good. He's been in Paris this week, and he said he has never had such good food in his whole life. He said, I had the best club sandwich I've ever had. Who has a club sandwich in Paris? Does that seem odd? Seems odd to me. There was going to be a baseball game tonight, but now they've um, they evidently canceled it or something. I don't know. Diane Chamberlain. Uh, I haven't read that book about Edenton Lies in a Small Town or something. Kristen Hanna books are great. Your husband has COVID. That seems like you're doing better. And, you know what I did? I took the Dern... Paxlovid, Paxlovid, whatever the devil it is. And that really helped speed me along. I tell you what, that, um, if you get COVID, go ahead and suck it up and take Paxlovid, Paxlovid, I don't know how to say it, because it made a big difference. A club sandwich? What's a club sandwich? It's three pieces of white bread, ham, turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise in a toothpick. Um, he also sent me a picture of pesto pasta that looked really good. We went to Italy last summer. I have to, I like Italy the best. But truly because I'm a, a, I'm not like a foodie. I just really like carbs. The pizza in Italy and all that freaking pasta is, why is it so good? Hold on. So good. You have to leave at 6 a.m.? Well, that would be nice if I lived in Raleigh, yes, but we live in Edenton, so we have to leave here tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. It's going to be great. I love to leave somewhere at 4 a.m. And then we have to have our nanny come over and spend the night, which is a pain in the butt for her. Because, you know, nobody wants to do that. Look at this cute shirt. This is from Surf, Wind, and Fire downtown. Isn't that so cute? All I ate in Italy was pesto pasta. I love pesto pasta. It's my favorite thing. So, have you, y'all heard that Taylor Swift's tickets are just coming out for a new thing, and she's going to be in Milan. Milan sounds so chic. I mean, and you could go see Taylor Swift in Switzerland. I mean, oh, these are wonderful things. You know, if you have a dream of going to Italy, you need to just start saving up your money to go. I've decided if I didn't have children, I would be going everywhere all the time. Literally. I would be rich. I mean, Full on rich. Amos going to meet you in Atlantic Beach. So Amos is coming to Atlantic Beach, yes, next week on Thursday or Friday. Little Thomas has about six friends coming for a week. So we will be down there without Amos from Sunday to Thursday. And then Amos will be there and we'll all be there together. Well, not Big Thomas because he has to work. We'll all be there together for like two weeks. My son, Russell, is working, and my daughter, Blair, I hope, is working. Wrinkles. I have wrinkles, or my laundry has wrinkles? Wrinkles, schninkles. World traveler. So, when I was little, we traveled a ton. Um, I don't know why. My dad, I think, my dad really wanted to, and it used to drive my grandparents if you fold when the clothes come out of the dryer, they will not be wrinkled. I know this. I went to college. Um, I had COVID. I was doing laundry while having COVID, which means you do laundry and you dump it on the floor. Was that a man that told me that? Um, 
Anyway, we traveled a bunch when I was little. My dad would get, he was an eye doctor, and he would get credit, I guess, for doing things. And so we were like in Russia and Romania when I was 9, 10, 11, whatever. Um, and my grandparents it drove them crazy. They're like, I can't believe you're spending money, you know, taking these children on trips and doing all these things. Well, you know what happened? This is very interesting. My brother died at 19 of cancer. And my dad said, I'm so glad we did that. He never would have had a chance to see all those places. Adrian. Please do not call me by my first name. I'm going to go to Ansley's for like 30 minutes. Wait, 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 wait. Have you packed? Yes. Liar. Where's your suitcase? Blair, I'm not kidding. I want you to pack. You tell her to come over here and help you. Okay, I'll bring her over. You know, I live with these people and they lie. They full on lie. My legs. Ow. My legs are stuck. They lie. Have you packed? Yes. That's a lie. I know that's a lie. Because you hadn't packed, and I've been up here, and all I've done is fold laundry, and there's no way you packed in that amount of time. I mean, it's just not possible. Oh, I guess that's my underpants. That's my big, big underpants. Let's see. Here's my clothes over here. <laughs> Were your grandparents still alive when your brother passed? Um, yes, they were. Yes, they were. And nobody would have said to him, like, ah, we shouldn't have, I mean, there's no time for that. But, um, I just wonder if it's, you know how, like, discernment, sometimes I think there's things in your heart, or I try to, I didn't used to listen to the gut, your gut feeling, Right. And I think now, later, I learned that the Holy Spirit is this discernment, this gut instinct that you have. And you remember you would, like, do make a decision in college or high school, or I did, and you'd be like, that's a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then it never, it no work. Hey, Linda, welcome. And I think sometimes now things in my mind don't make sense or do make sense, and they feel right, so I do them. Just because I think, this feels like a good idea. Blair can fold clothes. Yes, yes, she can fold clothes. She sure can. But I'm folding these clothes right now because she's not Cinderella. I mean, sometimes I do things too around here. Blair washed an entire sink of dishes, which was wonderful. Yeah. What do we, why do we ask our children we know our answer? Inside, out. Oh, I thought you said inside our panties. I was like, ew. Please teach your children to do their laundry. Marilyn, my children all know how to do their laundry. But you know what, Marilyn? I like doing people's laundry when I can. I sure do. Um, I sure do. I like making their beds up. I like doing all sorts of things. Uh-oh. Because... I can, you know? Doesn't mean they don't do their own laundry or change their own beds, but sometimes I do it, and that's all right. Anyway, you know, oh, so inside out. Yes, Blair will show us her dress when we're, um, we'll get on a subscriber video and you'll help me pack. We'll get her clothes right too. The real trick is how are we gonna pack for um, 16 and 17 year olds who grow too quickly. Like my mom said, well, we got, my parents got Russell a suit like a year ago. We got Russell a suit. I was like, uh, Russell grown like nine inches. He ain't wearing that suit. No. This is like basically who I feel like tells me things. They hide their little faces and they talk, talk, talk. That's because you love them. Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to know how to do laundry. I think it's important my kids can Uber. They can 
use Instacart. They can use DoorDash. They can cook a hamburger or a grilled cheese. They can load and unload a dishwasher. They can put gas in a boat. I mean, these are things that are important to know. And sometimes we work on some things some days, and other days we don't work on them. Why do you even answer to these people? Because I'm a sick, sick soul. I'm sick. I can't take it. It's a sickness. It's a sickness. Remember, people, I can talk about my kids, but you can't. <laughs> Because Libby, I said this was going to be a Q&A. Why are you going to Pittsburgh? Because we are going to a family wedding. We're very excited about it. It's a big deal for us. How did you choose your children's names? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I didn't. My husband did. So a lot of times people think my husband is not involved. Well, you should just know that he chose all the children's names. Where's your housekeeper? Oh, I know that's passive aggressive because I know who J.B. Page is and J.B. Page is passive aggressive. I mean, I have followers that like can't stand me, but they, they are sick too. They have to keep following. They can't stop it. Um, my housekeeper has not been here this week because I had COVID and I did not want to get her sick. So she is coming tomorrow because I did not want to poison her because that's the kind of wonderful person I am. Are you flying to Pittsburgh? Uh, yeah, I am. I ain't driving any nine hours to Pittsburgh with these children. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> and you have to take off work. No, not me. I could work in the car. My husband cannot drive because he won't allow me to drive. So there's no way that we could, um, go in the car because he insists on driving. Mm -hmm. And then summer's about to be over. And we go back to school and that's gonna be hell because Amos is not going to like that. He's not excited about going back to school. I am trying to figure out all the different ways I can talk about school in a positive way and I have yet to find a way that he enjoys. How did we name our children? Yeah, my husband named them. Why was Amos named after, and how did you and your husband decide upon his name? Joanne, I think you're going to have to be a subscriber. That is just too in-depth. I'm not getting into all that here. It might scare people away. Just tested positive for COVID. I'm going to tell you what somebody said to me when I did a video and said that. I mean, you are contagious. You need a mask on. Hello. I'm on camera. My mother does my laundry when I'm with her. And part of the reason I love to go visit my mother is because she does the laundry. It is delightful. She's in North Carolina at home and at the beach. Is this a large, oh, I thought you said, is this a large elephant wedding? I was like, what the hell is an elephant wedding? Is it an elegant wedding? Um, I don't know. I don't know this. I did not ask. Are the cousins kind of posh? Yes. It's the sort of a posh group. Do I look posh? No, I do not, which is unfortunate. Oh, there's more socks. 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 Oh, shorts. Oh, I love these shorts. I love any material that's elastic in this waffle cotton. Honor, shush. Sam and Lavi, I don't know where that came from. Mom. What? What? No, you're not going to play tennis, you're packing. And then you're going to dinner. Did you ever apologize for the F-bomb? No, I thought about it. I, I even meant to tell my friend that I had said the F-bomb to her daughter. I talked to her on the phone today, and then I didn't tell her because I was afraid that she might get mad at her daughter for encouraging me to say the F-bomb. <laughs> That's the kind of friend her mom is to me. Poor you. Poor me what? 
Your mother never did our laundry. Oh, that's smart. She just uses my name as a reference. I don't think JB sent the messages. Did you, JB? I don't think JB is that willing to set up a fake phone number account. Did you ever find out why your mom has post-it notes all over their house? You're a subscriber, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Um, why does my mom have subscribe post-it notes all over her house? Well, they put notes on things like, don't change the thermostat. Do they go to dinner every night? Who? No, they're going to our cousin's house for dinner. Amos and I aren't going because we're, we're piecking. I haven't told Amos that we're leaving. Jealous Jezebels, I love that. This is a subscriber video. The way you know is because there are a lot of people watching. Subscriber videos are generally smaller, like 400 people. And we have a conversation. I have been sort of communicative in this video. You have a degree in education. Were you ever a teacher? Yeah, I taught at NC State. Dear lady, you've had COVID and wearing a mask isn't a bad idea. Please no negatives. Well, I tested negative, or I would. Blair, go ahead and pack. Okay, subscribers, I gotta go get some water. See you in a minute. Carry on, people.